What's up guys, it's Roger and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be checking out the Ally Demand Sidearm. Now the Ally Demand Sidearm is a 300 RPM adaptive frame sidearm. Now this thing is new with Iron Banner and it's kind of kicking cheeks, so I'll tell you what. I like this thing quite a bit and here is the role that I have. I have Fluted Barrel, Accurized Rounds, Well-Rounded, and Frenzy, not to mention the origin trait here of Skulking Wolf. But what I really want to talk about with you guys here is well-rounded. Now this thing can roll in the first perk column here with Rangefinder. I know that's the go-to thing for most people and that's what they want to see on here, but honestly, after trying a roll with Rangefinder and trying out this roll, I really like this much better and you don't even need Rangefinder to really make this thing pog off. You don't need Rangefinder to have enough range to make this thing extremely effective if you know how to play correctly in the correct ranges. Now what do we have with well-rounded here? Well, throwing a grenade or hitting a target with a charged melee grants a stacking bonus to weapon stability, handling, and range. Using a super grants maximum stacks. So, you just throw your nade, you don't even have to hit any damage with a nade, or you hit somebody with your charge melee, which on Void Warlock like we are today, it tracks extremely well, so it's really easy to hit with that thing. And then once you do that, you have 10 seconds of increased weapon stability, handling, and range. So again, you don't even need range finder when you have something like well-rounded, which you can proc extremely easily, especially in Eruption. Because think about it in Eruption. The point of Eruption is to do your streaks, and you have your abilities coming up like crazy. So you have your grenades all the time, you have your charge melee all the time, so you're always proccing well-rounded, so you're always getting this bonus stability, handling, and range. This thing does not get flinched, it has crazy good range, the handling is saucy, and it just feels overall amazing. Now to pair with that we do have Frenzy, so if you can ever get yourself in combat for 12 seconds actually it is, then you can get some extra damage, handling, and reload if this, you know, you're in combat for those 12 seconds and that lasts about 5 seconds. So I don't think that proc too much for me, but hey, it's always nice to have. Skulking Wolf, of course, if we're at low health and we get a Guardian Final Blow, this weapon will get enhanced radar and remove you from opposing radar, so that's pretty cool. And then, of course, with the Accurize, that's just some extra range and some more handling and stability from the Fluted Barrel here. Finish that off with a Range Masterwork and a little Full Auto Retrofit, and this thing is looking saucy as all hell. Now, I'm going to be pairing with that a little Retro Futurist, and here's the rest of the build here. Now, you can check out the mods if you want to. I have some targeting, taking charge, a little loader, a little dexterity, some unflinching for both of our weapons, and you can see all the rest of the stuff here. But where this really gets tied together is what we have with our Void 3.0. And of course, I'm on Blink Warlock, so I'm going to be having a Nova Warp, but the stuff I really want to talk about here is our Pocket Singularity. Like I was saying, the tracking on this is crazy, and we have it up quite often in Eruption especially, just because the ability regeneration in Eruption is so high. So you're all constantly hitting these and constantly getting well-rounded procced off of it. But then on top of that, we have Scatter Nades which do beautiful damage, and paired with scatter nades, I have this fragment right here, Echo of Undermining. So your Void Grenades weaken targets. That does lose you 20 discipline, but scatter nades aren't that high of a cooldown anyways at 2 minutes. There is stuff that's lower, such as a Void Spike at 131, or a Void Wall at 145, but I love the one-shot potential of a scatter nade, especially paired with these weakening nades right here. You can throw this on somebody, it weakens them, you start taking shots with your well-rounded proct, and they're already weakened and have taken damage from the Scatternade, plus the damage from your pistol, you're just doing crazy damage. You add Clarence into the equation here because you have a healing a rift on. Clarence is going to go on. He's going to get in sucking some toes in there, and he's going to start giving you grenade and melee energy back. So you're just getting all this energy back all the time. You constantly have your nade. You constantly have your melee. You're always throwing that out towards your enemies, and you're always getting well-rounded proc'd. Sometimes you get frenzy proc'd, and you are just going insane with this sidearm. So that is the build. I going to get some pretty saucy games in here. I mean, slaying out pretty good. Get some nice Nice six, seven streaks sometimes. Nothing too, too crazy, but definitely some solid gameplay, and I'm very happy with what I got for you guys today. So, I think that is all I really have to say to you guys, except for the fact that we are on the road to 10k subs. So, if you want to join at any point in the video, I'd very much appreciate it, and you'd make my little day. But, if you just want to watch the video and enjoy, that's completely fine with me too. All that being said, I think we're ready to get into this gameplay, so let's go ahead and blink on into it. Oh my god, it's got Twilight Gap. Well, you know what? Honestly, this could be good. Because here's the thing, I hate Twilight Gap. And if you heard my amazing pun the other day, I called it Twilight Crap when it was loading. And it was really funny. And honestly, top tier humor. But that's not the point right now. The point is this map sucks. But I usually have a long range builds on when I'm playing this map. And I hate it because it's too cluttered to actually use the long range builds. So maybe getting in there with a the sidearm, we could actually like get up on their cheeks or something. And cause some mayhem. You know, cause some havoc. We'll see what we can do. I, I think it could be beneficial to actually have a closer range build on for this map. Looking at Frenzy, that it needs 15 seconds, or 12 seconds, excuse me, to proc is like pretty crazy. I'm gonna slap this rift down. I think we have time for it. Sit down, PETA. Oh god, throw this on the ground. Take two of them out. Let's go. More coming. 
Clarence going off. We're going to blink up with our shotgun out and chase this guy down here. Whoa! Okay. I was going to say, am I lagging? Because I feel like I killed him there. Dude, we're kind of like Bragmasters. I say that and then I get smacked. No, I'm Bragmaster, I told you. I'm going to throw this out here just because I'm looking at my radar and I thought somebody was coming. Looks like I was a little bit wrong, though. Oh, I wanted to see if I could blink across and then try to get an exit there, but that was a really good start. You can see this thing is cracked. I'm not even, like, tickling your guys' elbows right now. This thing is actually cracked with well-rounded. So what I'm seeing is... Okay, so we have well-rounded... Oh my god, get him, Clarence. Get him, Clarence. Yo, jump across. Jump across, you actual homunculus. I'm coming for your cheeks. Where are you? Where are you? Cook him. Cook him. Cook him. You're lagging. 51 to the head? You're actually tickling my nuts right now. Like, that's insanely good. Let's see if we can get around on these guys, maybe. Take him out with the boys. We still have Devour procced. Oop. I'm gonna throw this in. We do have well-rounded procced again. Now it's 10 seconds. Oh, 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 I didn't grapple that second time. You're licking my teeth right now. Okay, that's that's my bad. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, it's 10 seconds with the well-rounded procs. We do have a super already. What I'm going to do is probably just pop, to be completely honest with you. We're not in the best spot for it. Oh, darn. I thought I could catch that guy, maybe. I'll take this guy out instead. Come up behind this guy, take him out take out this guy as well, I'm guessing, and then I'm probably going to go back, put a roof down really quick, grab Clarence, and see if we can take a peek. See here, I'm looking out. I was thinking that might be a good nade, but at the very least, it was a good well-rounded proc. Boop. Suck on that. Oh, we took him out there. <laughs> he hit some good shots there, actually, to take us out, that DMT. DMT getting pretty smackers around after those uh, nerfs that it got, which I'm happy about. It was way too much strong of a gun. And in its state that it was in, it was just never going to be balanced. So I was really happy to see it get the nerfs that it got. Unfortunately, a dude standing in the corner there and teammates were not quite on my tail like I thought they were. Holy heck, everybody's in that room right now. I need to get this rift back up so we can grab Clarence. If we can get Clarence in there, he can start sucking teaks. And when Clarence starts sucking cheeks, he will regenerate um, melee and grenade energy for us. When you're on a healing rift, at least. If you're on an empowering rift, your Clarence will get you health. So, you're trying to get your Clarence in there. Let him tear it up a little bit and watch our grenade energy. is already almost back up. But unfortunately... Oh, oh, I did smack him in the head. 55 to the head there. When you have that well-rounded propped. That was actually completely my bad. I could have lived there. Somebody casting a super there. Hmm. I'd love to get aggressive on this. But it's... Oh, oh, oh. Um, nice super. I actually have a doctor's appointment this way. Hello. Okay. Yeah, there was two supers on my cheek holes there. I was really expecting to actually be able to get on that hunter, and then he kind of, like, jumped over my head. Uh, and it was just unfortunate. Where are you going, buddy? What are you, what are you doing? Can we get this guy? Oh, lord! There was a radar ping here for a second, but I don't know where it went. Linking up to the mid here could be stupid. Hackers? Oh, I hate the slowing effect because you can't blink when you're slowed. And I was talking about this the other day with my friends. Isn't it crazy that when you're slowed, you can't blink, but you can still hunter dodge? So you're telling me when I'm... I'm trying to take this guy out really quick if you don't mind. Ooh! Oh my... Okay, I'm an AR2. Beautiful gun. I have a couple of videos on that. You should definitely go watch my build videos on that because you can craft a beautiful roll of that thing, and it's amazing. You saw how fast he just cooked me there? Let that be a little bit of a testament to uh, how good it is. I'm kind of waiting for this guy to come around the corner. Looks like teammates are going to take him out, though. Let's see if we can get in there a little better. I mean, it's they're doing pretty good to keep us at bay. I'm trying to get in a little more, but... Yeah, see, they're... Okay, get off me, teammate. Kind of all over the place. Yeah, I was going to try to cook cheeks with that, but... Not quite going to happen. And i got to back it up. So they're, they're on the way. And unfortunate. Did I not have Clarence? I thought I had Clarence. I guess I didn't have Clarence. Yeah, kind of getting slow here now. I, I can't get in there anymore. Now they've kind of, like, started playing, like, homunculuses. Homunculi. 
whatever your preferred plural of homunculus is. Couldn't get a shot on that guy. He might jump back up. Let's take that trip mine out for the boy. They're gonna shoot us from the cheeks with that DMT, just like earlier. And there's another golden gun. Six seconds on clearance. We need to just go for a different angle here because they're not letting us in. They're being giant who says? And unfortunately, the melee lock on there is going to make me point myself towards the ground, or else I probably could have gotten that second guy if I clicked on him quick enough. You go so far with Astrocyte versus Blink. If you're not using your Astrocyte, you definitely should try it out. I don't know how much you've tried it out since the changes, but I definitely recommend not giving it a little try because it is absolutely amazing. That guy got kind of kind of cookaged. I'm just immediately turning around after I got that guy, because I saw him on radar, be able to take both of them out. Hey, I, I give him my special. If somebody picked that special up, I'm actually going to turn myself into a smoothie. Okay, thank you. I was not about that life, Chief. <laughs> Alright, they're throwing some nades down. If they throw a nade down here, I assume that, that means that they want to push it and probably challenge! Give me the rift. This is why I place a rift, just so we can use this like a fallback point. That's usually how I use my rifts. Hello. Goodbye. Thank you for the super. I'm going to enjoy my friend Clarence. He's very good at sucking toes. Or cheeks or just really anything. He's just good at sucking. I might just die. But I might just be an absolute champ. Nope. I'm good, man. Ooh, you're, you're, you're kidding me. Oh my god. Go for anybody else on the map. Your name is literally Fish. Probably because your coochie smells like a red tide. Holy hell. Alright, let's just get this super off before the match ends. Oh. Oh, I did kill somebody. I knew there was somebody standing there and this moron just sitting back with DMT. Hutch Hogan, more like a little bitch that should jump in a meat grinder. Say my right, boys. I don't even attempt to get anything crazier. Smack that last guy at the last second. Then a match like this. I'm sure I got like around 20 frags or something like that. That's as best as you can wish for nowadays. <laughs> People are trying too much. Yeah, 22. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. I mean, hey. Compared to everyone else in the game, we did pretty good. We did pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and get into a second match. Hey guys, if you want to make some Blink Warlock friends, then go ahead and join the Blinkfield Discord server. I'll have it linked in the description. For now, let's get back into the video. And of course, we need to get every map that is like a billion miles between every gunfight when we're trying to use a sidearm and a shotgun. I, I don't, I, I, did they look at our builds? I think they look at our builds before they show us in a match. Let's see what my teammates have, though. Okay. No, nope, you know, they all have hand cannons, pulse rifles, scout rifles, except for that one guy who has a risk runner on. And that is just hilarious to me. Everyone else just magically has on long range and it's just like us. Yeah, sidearm. Of course. What else would I be using when they shove me on a boss stock? This is what happened if you watched my video from yesterday. I did my first impressions on this game mode. And what happened was I got... Oh, no tags there. I was hoping he'd fly in a little bit. We do have well-rounded. While we have that, I want to take some shots. Teammate's just going to smack at him, actually. We do have well-rounded for a few more seconds here. As I see this guy, I'm going to just smack it on him. Oop, hello. And all right, we'll take those guys out really easily there. Someone's coming towards this door. They're coming behind us as well. All right, this could be risky. I don't know if I have time to put this down. Oh my god, we were actually able to survive for a while. Those guys are dog cheeks. Hey, that was fun, though. It was kind of like playing Black Ops Zombies, and they're all trying to funnel in from different directions, and I'm just sitting there doing my best to slay them out as they come in. Brother, I think you're hit by a layman arc or something. Yeah, yeah, your cheeks are getting tickled. Um, this could be risky. Oh my god, well-rounded is so good when it procs. I'm gonna go for a link play on this guy. Let's get around the corner and see if I can bait him in. There's one more up here. He might go through the doorway. But it looks like instead. Oh, god, hunters are so stupid. <laughs> the fact that they exist, like they were just ever programmed. 
to exist how they do blows my mind because it's like when you actually look at them for two seconds you go oh wow their existence is actually extremely problematic in the sandbox of this game like definitely not something that should exist because it's just unhealthy inherently to a state of a game like this that's so reliant on so many different things such as movement being such a big part of it we have well rounded here and while we do i really just want to challenge people unfortunately teammate takes him out I thought i might have taken him out but i guess teammate did Wait, did we even get a i think we got an assist for that take this guy out really quick. I think I have time to put a rift down. It really depends how fast they rush us. Like that. And great. So I have one of my um, subscribers, Vortex. I was asking yesterday, how does that melee work? And he said that it really just puts your hitbox really close to the ground. I'm going to pop here, actually. We're going to use a shift. We're going to use a blink. We're going to use a shift. And then we're going to land on this guy, blow up these two. We'll take them out pretty quickly. And then we're going to shift, blink, shift, shift, blink, shift, get on top of this guy, take him out. And one more shift will probably get us one more kill, and then we'll get taken out if we're not careful there. That's how you use your Noble Warp movement, in case you were ever wondering. I have a full guide on that if you're interested. I can try to put it on the end screen if I can remember a little bit. But, very simply, that's how you're going to want to use it in the future. Use your shifts into your blinks. If you want to get around corners, you're going to want to probably shift once, maybe twice, just to really get the distance you're looking for. That was silly of me. I should have just shotgunned him. Uh, an extra time, but I really wanted to use this sidearm as much as I can. Having a pretty good game for ourselves here. We are primed, so we do need to kind of go before we just get tasty cooked or whatever, you know? Take these guys out. Oh, apparently I didn't get assist for either of those dudes. Um, That's extremely interesting. Um, I feel like I saw damage numbers pop up there. I could be wrong. I could be stupid. I'm definitely dumb. But my question is... Did I really not hit those guys at all? It's okay if I didn't, but I'm just kind of confused. I'm going to blink through this doorway. Oh, we'll trade with that guy. Good reaction time by him to actually take us out there. I saw him going in the bottom doorway, so I knew he was going to go up those stairs. We already had some shots on him, so I knew he was a little weakened, so I could easily dust him up. There's obviously a guy on my cheeks right now. I'm trying to see if I can bait him around, maybe take him out. And I, I don't really want to be here completely. I know there's a super popped up to my right. And I'm not really loving that. Let's see if we can throw this out. Take this guy out. We're going to blink. Oh my god! Blink one more time. Get around this corner. And honestly, I think I'm going to run right back down and see if I can shotgun this dude. Because he was chasing us. Looks like he kind of backed up a little bit. Ah! Don't throw nades at me. That's mean. It's mean and rude. Can we help our teammate out here? Nope. Nope, we can't. He's on his own. I'm trying to get out of here really quick. Slap a rip down, grab Clarence, and see if we can actually engage into a fight that's good for us here. Obviously, that guy has, like, a pulse rifle. We can't blink up like this. I think his uh, Lordly Splendor started healing him a little bit there, so he almost lived. Now, we need to be careful when we blink here, because there's that guy watching us, as we see. So we're going to blink like this. Make sure we have our hitbox out in the lane as little time as possible as we cross there, just so we can just get across without showing our hitbox for too long, and that's going to give us less of a chance to actually get hit. Of course, you know, makes sense. They can't see you, they can't hit you, right? All right, we're going to try to save our energy and see if we can get one or two more kills with this. I know they like to come around here. And unfortunately, I kind of scuffed that. I could have got up on that guy's nutsack there, but I think we were on a six, five or six streak anyway, so we were about to erupt, I'm pretty sure. I saw it counting down on my screen there at the end. This has been a pretty fun match, honestly. I was like, Vostok, you gag me now. But, honestly, it's been pretty tasty. Hup. Let's like get well rounded procked. And oh my god, we're actually cooking him from a range with this dumb little sidearm. I shouldn't even call it dumb, because it's actually kind of pogged. Obviously, that range is... I mean, honestly, that range isn't terrible. But it, there was three of them there, so it was just a bad peek by me, to be completely honest with you. We all make mistakes sometimes. That is okay. The most important thing is that you learn from them. Hmm. Speaking of mistakes here, pushing might be one that I make. Or just whipping my shots might be... Uh, thanks, Bondi. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I punched this guy in the testy. 
Maybe we could uh, register it. Okay, they're down below me, so I'm not going to be able to get any more kills there. But that was really, really fun. If you guys can get a roll of this pistol, of this sidearm, with well-rounded, I highly recommend doing it and having some fun with this because this gun is so much fun with well-rounded. And I, I don't think you need rangefinder. I, I think I probably said it in the intro. I mean, I record the intros after I record the gameplay, so I never know what I actually I'm going to say. But you don't need rangefinder. I try to roll with rangefinder. And even the roll with rangefinder, you can see here, 54 range on this, 44 range on the roll with rangefinder. I do like under over, and I think what I really want to try for is a roll with well rounded and under over, because under over does more damage. I'm assuming it still procs in PVE, uh, PvP. Sometimes these perks don't proc in PvP. If you guys know for sure if that procs in PvP, then let me know, because I'd love to know that, because what I'm looking for, I think, is well rounded and under over with a good range. Like any kind of a range around 54 like this so probably i don't know fluted accurized well-rounded under over range masterwork i think would be beautiful god roll in my opinion that's something i'm extremely looking for and if i can get that before iron banner ends i would be so happy but you guys let me know in the comments did you enjoy this sidearm are you even having a fun time with it i know i've seen in the community liking it quite a bit and i understand why now after trying it myself thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed you want to leave me a like comment subscribe or hit that notification bell so you can see more in the future i'd really appreciate it but that is all for me today so as always have a great day guardians